You purchased your FE practice exam, you studied, and now you're ready to take it. But how do you take a book practice exam so that you mimic the exam environment? Because the FE exam is computer-based. Well, today I'm going to share with you guys seven must-haves to make your exam setup complete. Oh yeah, everybody now. When you take your FE practice exams, it's very important that you mimic the exam environment so that you can prepare mentally for your tests. Now, I've got the list of the most important tools you need and guidelines to follow so that you can get the most out of your practice exam. Now, if you want to know which practice exams you should take, make sure to watch this video here next where I talk about the best practice exams out there right now. So here are seven must-haves that you need to have before you start your practice exam. Must-have number one, calculator. Grab the calculator that you have been using while preparing for your FE exam and also make sure that you know how to use all the functions in your calculator because it will save you a lot of time during your test. Must-have number two, paper and pen. On the actual exam, you will be giving a booklet and a pen. Now at home, what you can do is just grab a couple piece of paper and a pen and you can start your exam. Now, when you are solving the problems, try to number the questions and then also try to be organized. So that way, if let's say you get stuck on one of the problems, what you can do is just flag it or just put a star next to it. And then when you come back later to that problem, you can just pick up where you left off and you don't have to waste time and start the problem from the beginning. Must have number three, clock or a timer. Now on the FE exam, you will be timed. You will also have to solve 110 questions in five hours and 20 minutes. Now, there are some practice exams out there that they only have 100 questions. If you have those kind of practice exams, make sure you set up your timer for only five hours. If you're solving a practice exam that has 110 questions, then you should set up your timer for five hours and 20 minutes. Must have number four, the reference handbook. Open the reference handbook on your computer and make sure that you use Control Shift F for the search box, just like you're gonna have it on your exam. Also, make sure that you close all the tabs on your computer and all your notifications are off so you don't get distracted. If you want to see where you're at with your FE preparation, take this free quiz that has the most common FE questions, and it should take you about 15 minutes. Once you complete it, then I walk you through a step-by-step -step solution. So make sure to check it out. Now let's talk about number five, remove all distractions. I would recommend that you let everyone know that you will be taking a practice exam so that nobody tries to reach you or interrupt you. Make sure that you put your phone away or have do not disturb mode on, and then you can start your exam. Number six, take a break at question 53. Now on the actual exam, you will be asked if you want to take a break when you get to questions between 50 and 57. It really varies from one person to the other, and you will be given the chance to review your questions before you take your break. Because once you submit those questions and you take the break, you can't really go back and review those questions. So when you take a practice exam at home, what you can do is make sure that you review the questions when you hit question 53, and then you can pause the timer and take your break. Now your break should be no longer than 25 minutes. If you want to know how to manage time during your exam, go ahead and comment below manage time and I'll make a video on that. And if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to come back here every week for free FE problems, study tips and motivation to help you pass your FE exam faster. And lastly, number seven, a table for flagging. When you start your exam, at the top of your page, make sure to create a table for the questions that you want to review or flag. Because remember, on the FE exam, you will have the option of flagging questions. Now, if you want to know how to flag questions to increase your chances of passing the FE, make sure to check out this video here. If you're struggling with your FE preparation right now and you're feeling stuck and overwhelmed, don't forget to check out our courses where we simplify the engineering problems and concepts and we teach you exactly what you need to pass your FE exam. Our courses are lifetime access, provide step-by-step -step solutions and relevant concepts and problems that will help you study less, learn more, 
fast faster and build the career that you want. Now, before you go, make sure to check out this video here where I talk about how much you should score on a practice exam. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.